perfect. Aloha, everyone, and welcome to another Tinker's Academy video. I'm your host, Kay Elmer, and I've got Philip von Holzendorf with me from the Quantum Upgrade. And today we'd like to do a Quantum Upgrade Q&A. So it's been a roughly two weeks uh, since we, uh, or since, you know, Philip and, well, I guess we uh, announced the new service. And there's been just a flurry of activity and a ton of questions. So I wanted to just share with you, and then I asked Philip to come on board so we can do a Q&A to kind of bang you know, out some of the frequently asked questions that we're seeing on Telegram. So I just, for everybody that, you know, what we're gonna be covering is we're gonna be talking about, uh, you know, what the service covers, like what's the definition of you and pet and car? Uh, so that people really are, you know, so you're, you're a lot more clear on, on what it is when you sign it up, right? Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, if you are already an owner of capsules and blocks, you know, what's the difference and how does it, and how do they work together and so forth. And then talking about for those of you who have signed up, you know, how do you adjust your settings? There's been a ton of questions about changing the settings and adjusting the settings and what the settings mean and so forth. And so let's cover that. And then we'll talk a little bit about the future enhancements that are coming along uh, for the quantum upgrade service uh, down the road. So uh, before we get into the meat of it, I do want to introduce you if you're not familiar with Philip. Uh, he's a healer and he's also the founder, owner and operator of Quantum Upgrade. Also, he's the same for Layla Quantum Tech and Layla Labs. Um, and he's coming to me right now. I'm in Missouri and he is in Costa Rica as we speak it's saturday morning and so hey philip good morning or should i say hola <laughs> hi k yeah hola <laughs> good morning to everyone and thanks for having me on i'm yeah. looking forward to this yeah so you know hey we're uh we're a international uh q a session here <laughs> so okay so before we get into the meat of things um uh of course there's always that disclaimer so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to you. It's uh, neither Quantum Upgrade nor Tink the Tinkers Academy will recommend or endorse any specific tests, physicians, procedures, opinions, or other information that may be mentioned in this video. Reliance on any information appearing and discussed in this video is solely at everyone's own risks. Statements made have not been evaluated by the EFSA or FDA or any governmental derivatives thereof. Quantum Upgrade products and products that Quantum Upgrade may represent are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. All righty, so with that said, um, I think real quick, if anybody who sees this, and, it, and and Philip, this is what I wanted to know, if you could just start off with you know an overview, like if, if somebody's brand new to Quantum Upgrade, what is your like elevator pitch when someone says, what is that? I mean, do you have like a five minute spiel that kind of just broad strokes what it is and then we'll jump into the Q and A? Yes, I would call it a quantum energy streaming service that basically takes quant pure quantum energy right to your home or to your pet, to your car, to your phone or to yourself or even to your business. So that those are the different options uh, you can book. It works through quantum entanglement, which quantum entanglement really isn't a new concept uh, at all. It has been proven multiple times in a lab and we've uh, actually proven this multiple times already, not just in experiments and tests, but there were even randomized double blind studies that were done that showed 100% effectiveness uh, in a significant way. We talked about that in the uh, previous video. And yeah, that's in a nutshell what it is. It sounds crazy, but you know, hey, yeah. uh, I think if you go back to the 1600s and you would you know, just tell a story how you called your friend with a cell phone while you were on the way, they wouldn't believe you. You couldn't probably really explain it well. You would tell them, yeah, it does work. They would tell you, no, it does not work. Well, you know, that's pretty much uh, what it is. And, um, you know, uh, it, it, it does work. It can be proven. It's just very, very cutting edge. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, I think the, uh, for the general layman, like, you know, you're, you're like almost a social media star at this point. You're, you're, you're on so many interviews, so many different channels. But I think there's there are a lot of people that are brand new the concept of quantum energy and quantum healing. Um, so for those of you who are new to it, you know it kind of falls under the classification also known as frequency medicine. So there's a lot of content on YouTube and on the internet on these key words, you know, quantum healing, frequency medicine, quantum energy, and and I just want to differentiate that from the physics 
academia physics standpoint, but if you want to learn more about quantum healing and quantum entanglement and what this process is, then by all means, do the research on those keywords. Also, if you go to my blog, I've got a library of reference material uh, that you can access, that you can read. There's, I, I basically plucked as many uh, different books as I could find on this subject, so you can kind of read what people like Deepak Chopra have said about it, and other really renowned authors uh, have talked about this this specific topic. So, you know, it is real. It's been out there. It's nothing new. Real, honestly, nothing new. It's been around for a few decades. You know, uh, but like to Philip's example, though, it it is true. You know, like try to imagine try explaining a cell phone to someone a hundred years ago. So yeah, it, it is so new that there's the, the terminology and the language is just now starting to form. But there is a library of resources uh, out there. It's already on the internet, and I also have some on my blog. So come on over and, and learn more about it, and don't don't ever hesitate ask questions. So thank you very much. Uh, let's jump in with the first set of questions. That's the thing everyone's really uh, interested in is this Q and A when I announced we're going to do it. Uh, okay, so first things first. You know, when someone goes to your website. Um, and they go here and they say, oh, hey, great. I want to go ahead and pick something. Uh, I'm interested. This is, you know, this sounds great. Oh, free trial. Great. Let's go ahead. And I want to do it, you know? So then they click on this and there's all these options, right? And so let's talk about these different options because it's like, it, it is, there's been a kind of a, a lot of questions around it, you know, in terms of like, well, if, if it's, if it's, uh, you, if I pick you, you know, myself, uh, my pet, my car, my home, I cell phone my business or I do a bundle, you know, you know, and, and there's been a lot of clarifying questions. Um, and all the answers are, by the way, on Telegram. Phillips uh, is responding to all of the questions. But, you know, for those of you who know Telegram, it's really hard to, to kind of find what you're looking for. Uh, it's not the best. It's more, you know, it's not really designed for that. That's why we do these Q&As and tutorials. Uh, so let's talk about that. And so what I did, guys, was I went through the first two weeks of all of the different discussions uh, in the group on Telegram and I plucked out all the categories of different questions and here we go. So first one, Philip, when someone chooses you, there are questions around that. And so there's a, the first one of the first questions was, is, you know, is it, what is you exactly? Is it a field, right? Is there a field around me? Like if I had a capsule, right? If I'm wearing a capsule or I carry a card, uh, is there a field around me or is it just my physical body and it doesn't extend past my skin? You know, in terms of like the, the mm -hmm. quantum energy is going towards me, me as a person. Yes, good question. So <clears throat> in essence, we are only energy and frequency. Okay. So that is the first thing we need to understand. The physical body is kind of what's called like almost secondary, right? It's kind of like what we experience all the time. And this is our physical reality, but the body itself is energy. And your energetic system, how I like to call it, um, I could call it energy bodies, it's all way more and bigger than the physical. So it extends beyond that. <clears throat> it's actual, uh, it, it depends on, on the person, but you could, you could even see aura that's a few meters, you know, um, in, into all directions, right? At least mm -hmm. one to two meters. So that's your whole energetic system. And that is basically getting the charge. And with that, okay. the physical body is getting the charge also. And the benefits therefore are fully energetic and translate in the, into the physical as well, where they are very measurable. So that's in a nutshell what it is. And really it, it supports every aspect of your being, the you service. And therefore it is also the most powerful um, of all the services and, uh, and even compared to, uh, to blogs that, that is possible. Okay. If you, if you're just concerned about yourself and, you know, you want something really good for yourself, you want your energy support, then that is the service, uh, you want to uh, choose and not the home service because the home service is is less powerful for yourself. However, it has then other benefits, right? Because what if you live together with uh, three, four roommates or your family of six and you, you know, you don't, you really want to have a field at home for everyone, then that the home service would be good. That's how I would distinguish the two. Okay. okay yeah. So it's definitely your 
physical slash and, and well more so your energetic body because your energetic body is the bubble all around you so okay so it's so you means you your energetic body so then the next question that uh came up uh around that one was what if i'm carrying something you know is that is or i'm laying next to my spouse because we're right next to each other they're technically in my within my my bubble right my energetic bubble would they also be receiving that energy if they're if, if something another living thing is like within like my reach and my touch no uh, okay. but uh they would certainly receive and observe and perceive your energy and your expanded energy okay. and all of that and that's that happens anyway even uh. without the quantum upgrade right if you're together yeah. with your spouse you know your auras you know are almost like a little bit together and all of that and and she can feel you and you can feel her and so on and and it's just that your energy field is vibrating at a higher yeah. consciousness level and then if you walk into right. a grocery store for example you're appearing more shiny or you know there's um with a higher vibration so it's it's just there's a field around you that may that other people may observe and resonate with even right so that's that's indeed yeah. what happens but they don't get the energy themselves okay directly all right that makes sense okay yeah okay so it's sort of yeah yeah i think you hit it right on the on the nail right it's it's everybody resonates at a different vibrational frequency you know we all know yeah, we have our energy energy vibrates its frequency and so it's tuned into you your frequency so even if you're like touching something it's still just you but yeah, okay, but the other person perceives it. So that's very, that's okay, that's good. Okay, so then we have people internationally. I mean, there's all these different folks living in different countries. And some folks have said, you know, does it work from, you know, whatever, Antarctica or Europe and Asia? It doesn't matter, right? Anywhere on the planet where you are, because it's quantum, it's going to reach you through entanglement, right? Is that correct? Absolutely true. Okay, so anywhere on the planet and, pro and more and and we can guess that it's going to be anywhere in the universe as well, but you know, just because quantum is quantum. Okay, so it's any, you, anywhere you live on this planet, you can search, sign up for the service, and it will reach you through entanglement, which also includes. The, the, you know, somebody did ask, like, what if I'm traveling? And so yeah, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if you're moving exactly. around or in another country. Anywhere, right? Okay, so then another a big a big question about is what name do I use uh, when I sign myself up? Uh, so it's the birth name or your current name now if you've changed your name uh, due to marriage or whatever uh, so what is the name people should use and should they use their full name like their middle name and you know and, and whatever follows it and which name yes. are you so, supposed to mm -hmm. register with the current name that is the one that you use not your birth name however if you're if you have a birth name and you just have your current name, but you really identify more with your birth name and you're about to change it back to that, then choose that. That's really um, a unique situation. Then for you, other than that, choose your current name, choose the exact name. So exact first name and exact last name. And uh, if you want to include uh, your middle name, uh, at least one you can. If you have like four or five middle names, you you don't have to include all of those. Like you will, you have a unique identifier already through your first and last name and your birth date and and, and, and the birth city. So that's that's all good. But you can definitely include one middle name if you have one or more middle names. Sure. And what I've not heard. Okay. And then so let's say I, I have a current name. My name is Richard, but I go by Rick. Um, would I put Rick? Or what's best for, cause that's, that's a lot of questions about that. You know, about what name, uh, do I go by my yes. legal name or my, my name that people call me by? So it would most likely work either way. Uh, that's the first thing because it, it's about okay. a unique identifier and a signal that is set. And, uh, if everyone calls you Rick, then that would still identify you. I would I would choose Richard though if that's really written in your passport or um, uh, or your your ID. That's what I would personally do. I would choose Richard over Rick or Rich. But yeah, it 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 would it would work both ways. 
Okay, great. Uh, another question is, are there any age restrictions? Like uh, we had a, a lady wanted to know about signing up her young child um, and, you know, things like this. So are, is there any, is a, a person's a person no matter how old? Yes, that is correct. And And frankly, you know, from an official standpoint, we don't want to really give recommendations in regards to children and all of that. That's always just such a regulated area. But what I can say is that especially children um, obviously can benefit from everything that helps their system to be more in balance, right? And to be more protected against external stressors. And especially in those younger ages, you know, we still develop, you know, our brains develop and all of that. And if you can get the best food, the best water and the best energy, who wouldn't want to do that? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that's great. I, I didn't think so, but I, you know, want to make sure we ask the the ex, ask the expert. Thank you. Okay, next one here is on the idea of pets. So if I sign up my pet, so the idea here is: is it any kind of pet? Birds, fish, dog, cat, lizards. I mean, is yeah, it good? Did it matter? Does it matter? Yeah, so right now we have it only set for dogs and cats. Okay. And we we can we can relatively easily expand it, you know, to horses and and things like that. It, it, there has to be a unique identifier though. We don't want to work with pictures. So that would be easy with a lizard, you know, if you had a lizard somewhere and you just take a picture, but we don't want to work with that. So it would need to be unique identifier which currently for a dog would be the name the that it's a dog and then what is the breed of the dog and i think it's the 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 country um at least that we have as well possibly the city i'm, I'm not entirely sure and that's what needs to be put in right now it's just for dogs and cats but i'm pretty certain that over time we'll expand that maybe not to lizards but probably for at least horses and, you know, animals that we may have that, that, that have a name because that would be an identifier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you actually, okay. So you need something to tune in on, but right now just cats and dogs. I know folks have asked about livestock. So that, that addresses that question. Um, the other question is, is, do, uh, is it just one pet or could there be like, I have two dogs. Would I need to sign up both of them individually? if I wanted them to receive this service? Yes, they would have to be individually because if you sign up one, the other one literally would not receive it. The same with the U service. You, it just works for one person. However, and we'll get to that when we talk about the bundles, we okay. have some exciting uh, news to share today. Okay, great. Uh, with us. Okay, so okay, so it, it's, uh, it's only dogs and cats, um, only one per, that's for now, uh, one per subscription if you sign up just, you know, if you click on the pets um, and doesn't have to be my pet. Uh, I think there was a question, of, you know, uh, out there that was like, um, you know, like it's my roommate's pet, but it's not mine. Can I still sign it up? Cause I love it. You know? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. you can, okay. if you, if, if you just type in the correct information okay. uh, that is needed for, for charging that specific pet that's absolutely possible okay because i know i know there's that thing about it uh about ownership or affiliation as it relates to business but we'll talk about that in a second okay so then cars uh the main question about cars i think people pretty much figure out your car is your car uh but there's like people ask about well, what if i rent a car uh you know if i put in the make and model of my car and the energy is going to that car um if i rent a car do i have to then update my uh subscription or or up, you know, update my, my settings? Yes, so in theory, you can absolutely do that with a rental car as long as you have it and you have the VIN number. Oh, okay, so you need the VIN. For everyone that's not in the US, the VIN number is the, you know, the unique identity number for a car, basically. There's something okay. like that in every country. It's not the license plate, though, and the license plate also would not work. It has to be this this number, and it's, it's usually in your your paperwork somewhere. It's yeah, and, on the dash. Yes, and you can put that in for the rental car. Of course, that's no right. problem. It works. And then as soon as you're, you know, you're going to be done with it, you need to reach out to customer service though to then change it to a different rental car or then to your own car if, if you have it. And then 
that would switch. Okay, so you can't just do that on the website right now? You cannot make any changes of the so-called hard-coded data. That is the data that you put in um, for the actual charging. Okay. And, yeah, uh, we have a, okay, we'll talk more about that when we get to that section of the Q&A. But okay, okay, good to know. Okay, now let's talk about home. There are a lot of questions about home, right? As you just alluded to when we're talking about you. Um, so, okay, first one off was, you know, there was a question about home. What is the definition of home? Is, the, is it the structure or is it my property? And if, and if I rent it, is it still mine? You know, if I have a farm and it's really, really big, is it the whole farm? You know, because can you kind of like narrow down, like what does it mean when someone says, yes, my home? What is that? Yeah, so for, for, first of all, if you rent it, then it is yours you, during the time that you rent it and you live in there. So absolutely, you can choose the home service for you if you're a renter. It's no problem whatsoever. It's just anyway going to be a, to the benefit of the owner as well. <clears throat> However, as you move out, then you would also choose a different address and then the charging uh, and the quantum upgrade basically would stop. So that said, if you have a house on a property, then not only the house is covered, but also the whole property is covered. So in, if, it's eight, if it's an 80 acre property, it's 80 acres. If it's you know uh, 1,000 squ square feet, it's 1,000 square feet. Whatever it is, the, the legal boundaries of the property will be covered fully by the service. Now, if you have an apartment somewhere or you have an an office in an office building, you should not choose the whole property. Definitely not. Be very specific then and include your specific suite number or apartment number. And then literally just that apartment or the suite will be covered. What if I left out the unit number? Would it do the whole building? Yeah, most oh. likely. They, you know, we okay. would we we could test that in, in in certain instances. The signal may be um, unique enough to just really cover the living space of that individual that also puts in his name, his or her name. But yeah, I, I would really try to be very specific with your address. Okay, so just to say, um, can you find out then? Because uh, I'm sure people are going to ask. Because I used to live in a condo. I was also on the board, you know, I was one of those, I was not an evil HOA guy, by the way, everybody, I was a super nice HOA guy, <laughs> but I was on the board, right? <laughs> and so I was thinking, why not do the whole complex and then chill everybody out and everyone gets along better, you know, kind of thing. So that's kind of what I was thinking of it from like, you know, we had three separate buildings and why not just do yeah. the whole complex? So if I left out the unit number, but we, you don't know just yet you if can. it actually would work. No, that no that that is not a problem whatsoever. Oh, so cool! I mean, if you're a property manager, or if you have yeah. multiple condos, or just a whole yeah, you can do yeah. the, you can just do the whole property. Okay, the yeah, because there's that's no problem whatsoever. It would does that apply to neighborhoods? Like you know, like if uh, let's say I buy into country estates, you know, and there's like you know a bunch of gated houses in there, and it's but it's like one community of, of of buildings right of homes and it's a hoa you could say i want to sign up country estates and then that would be that whole area all, all the homes at, at this point i would not recommend that because that is something that we would need to look into specifically okay. all right so okay so just i just you know yeah there's all these questions right so all right to be determined whether you can do a whole neighborhood but pretty sure you can do a whole building um okay all right so that's that's good to know uh now what if i own two homes like like well like you know like like you <laughs> you know um new mexico and costa rica i mean do you have to sign up each home separately yes okay all right all Wouldn't right work so, any other like way pets. yeah okay so it's like pets because each one has an individual you know vibrational signature in the in the universe right okay all right so that's there so if you own more than one then it's one at a time um, uh, and then we'll talk about bundles. <laughs> okay, so then the other question, which I, you alluded to a little bit ago, I just want to get some clarification because there was a whole bunch of questions about this, which was, do the people and pets living in a home, right? Let's say I sign up my, quote, home. It's my farm or a house or a condo, but I've got pets. I got multiple pets or I have livestock. I got the garden. Um, 
do they all get the same benefit as if I sign them up individually, including the phones? Anything inside no. the home gets that, uh, gets this. In other words, I'm thinking, hey, why, why, you know, instead of signing up me and my pets and my car, why don't I just sign up my home where everything is? And, and would that be the same thing? It's definitely not the same thing, but it would be the one to choose if you really want to cover all of these things at the same time. And they will be covered. It's just not as strong. Like for yourself, for example, it's not going to be as strong as the service for you, because then you'll be just walking in in this field, if you will, but but you don't have the field like literally within you. Uh, if that makes sense. And that's the same for a pet, uh, for example, that it's more powerful and more comprehensive and deeper if you have a pet service for the pet or the you service for you versus the home. But, hey, you know, we, we sometimes maybe we have multiple pets and other people that live with us and it it may just get too expensive to just charge everyone so just in that case, I would really just do the home service and it'll already be great. It'll take care of EMFs and all of that. It's just not going to be as strong and powerful. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, that, no, yeah, that makes sense um, from the standpoint of you're spreading it out as opposed to focusing it in. Um, and so like, uh, here's another question. So that, that answers that. Uh, now, uh, I did, we did get questions about... Uh, if I choose my home and there's food and water in my home, because I'm personally compulsive about charging all my food and water with my my eye block, um, it, it's not the same then, right? It's not getting that concentrated charge. So, you know, like if, if the food no. and the water in my home um, yeah. is not charged like you would put it in a block. That is correct. It's okay. It's not the same. There is a benefit, though. There's going to be a benefit if you have the home service. There's there's going to be a benefit for everything that's in your home. And by the way, also for your plants on your property, even uh, they will get the benefit of that. But indeed, if you wanted to. You know, I don't want to get into these food allergy things uh, too much, but, you know, let's take this uh, example of Todd Shipman with his crab meat that he charges for six minutes in the in the infinity block. Right. So. That is something that doesn't work with the home service. So you would literally have to have a block for that. And yeah, okay. it's, it's, that is just different. Okay. Yeah. So it's very different. So, so the, yeah, yeah, the okay. home service doesn't also doesn't charge anything permanently. Right? Oh, okay. So we had this question also ah, come up. Yeah, so yeah, if I, I have the home yeah. service, does not everything get charged permanently? No, that doesn't happen. And that's just the way it's programmed and working. It just doesn't do that. So if you want to charge something, you would have to use a block. Okay. No, no, that's good. That's good to know. We'll get, we have a whole slide on that. So, all right. So next question then was uh, from a military individual um, who basically lives on a base. Then they got APO, FPO addresses for military folks. So what if I don't have a physical address? Um, then the suggestion, but they live, they have a, like they live in a barracks but their address is, you know, but it doesn't have an address. Or there's another person that said, um, I live, uh, or my, my, I think there was like their, their grandparent or somebody, but they, they live uh, in one place, but their address, it, it's like one of those uh, farm, farm addresses, right? Where they don't have an actual address for the farm. They have a, their mailing addresses, you know, in town kind of thing, but it doesn't have an address. Can they sign up something that doesn't have an address? And, but it's uh, you would need to reach out to us uh, individually and we could we could run a test with you specifically then that that's something i would uh, recommend so if you're on a military base <clears throat> you know then you you probably have a specific room you're in and i there, don't know if you're with yeah, other people numbers, in the same yeah. room yeah. if you are maybe you have a bed number or you could define it's the lower bed on the right or something like that so you if you could work it by putting right. in all these identifying identifiers that would probably work with someone that just lives somewhere with no address whatsoever. Uh, I honestly don't know what to do with that at this point. So maybe okay. we could uh, try to work with the longitude and, and all that, but yeah. Oh, that was the, we question. would have to yeah. test that. 
Yeah, that was the question is whether or not you could work with longitude and latitude. Okay. Yeah, because I've had friends that worked up on North Slope and they lived in barracks uh, and but their addresses were like back in Anchorage, right? But they, you know, I've had like my father did the same thing. So he was military. So yeah. Okay. So uh, for you guys that have a, a physical residence that doesn't have like a mailing address, then use the physical residence address, right? Barracks 14, room 12, right? Or whatever. Um, but, um, and you know, like uh, Elmendorf Farm Air Force Base, whatever, right? Uh, and then that that should help. But I guess you'll have to contact. Yeah, I'll choose the U service in this case, right? right? You know, so right, I right. Do that. Okay. All right. So keep that in mind. Uh, okay. Um, all right. So talk about uh, the cell phone. Uh, some clarification questions about the cell phone is, is it tied to the number, like the SIM card, or to the physical device? To the number. To the actual phone number. So 100% that, to the number. It, okay. and it, does not, it does not matter if you turn off the phone or turn on the phone. It works either way. But as soon as you put the SIM card in a different, uh, in a different phone, uh, because you change it, then the new phone will be the one that is uh, okay. getting the benefit. All right. All right. That's clear. So the, the device that has the uh, number uh, assigned to it. So then there's this other question then down here, which was somebody asked about, uh, like I used to have iPad, iPhone, so I could take phone calls on my iPad, right? Because it was tied to my phone. So can you sign up an iPad? Or if I signed up my phone and I took calls on my iPad, does that include my iPad? Sorry, I was actually one of questions. That's a good question. So I actually don't know the answer. As long as the SIM card, wherever the SIM card is in, okay, in which device that device, oh, that is would be charged. a no. Now, if, <laughs> okay. if if there's a way then that you have a phone where the SIM card is in and it's also tied to a, an iPad and that rings as well, uh, I um well. Shame on me! Okay, I should we don't know, know that because I used to work at T-Mobile. But uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't. I don't. Uh, okay. I don't. We would need to test that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess the key thing, though, is that the SIM card's in the phone, not in the t in the tablet. Even though the tablet's, you know, uh, synced up, so it would definitely be the phone. And then, of course, to be determined uh, through testing. But uh, right now, it's just your phone. Uh, and then, so and then, I guess the question there was like, hey, you know, if I carry my phone around all the time and I'm subscribed myself to it, that my phone automatically is because it's like I'm holding it. I think we covered that. Um, and it's it, yes, but not the same, right? Uh, okay, so then the other question was, is does the phone have to be turned on to receive the, the signal, the, 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 energy, the quantum energy? Or is it, because that was actually a couple of nope. people asked that question, whether it needed to be turned on or not. Nope, it can be off, it's no problem. Okay, so it's gonna be aiming towards that phone at all times. Okay, so then uh, under the business one, um, well, several questions about that, and I kind of just summed it up in four bullets here. Uh, but like one of the one one of the first questions about I want to sign up my business. So what you know what is a business came up, and there's a lot of questions about what is that. So I guess the first question I want to ask before I get into the actual bullets is what is a business? Um, and so let me give you examples. There are people that have side hustles. Um, there's people that like do multiple side hustles right? There's people that work for a company. There's people that own a company. There's people that are partners of a company, uh, people that are just employees of a company. So let's, let's, let's dig this out one at a time. So let's say who, okay. So who can sign up a company? Like if I work for bank of America or general electric, right? Can I just, you know, I'm an employee Can I sign up my company. No. Okay. So that's per our um, rules that is not possible for a very good reason <clears throat> because a business is owned by someone or multiple shareholders. People. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yes. And so who, whoever owns a business or and or is an authorized representative to make a decision for the business can sign up a business. And here we're talking about a registered entity, right? Uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, that's what we're talking about. So if you know, if you have a, a fitness studio, and, and you know, that's yours, you can sign it up. If you're the general manager for a fitness studio somewhere, you're making business decisions, to, you know, to make sure that your business is going well, and all of that. And, and you, you do these things, right, you make these decisions, then you can sign up. If you're just there as a fitness trainer, and but you're not the decision maker actually, 
then you cannot sign it up. That's that's not what should be possible because that would interfere uh, with the ones actually being responsible for the business. However, so if, if you have, and, but you could still do the use service for yourself, right? And things like that. And, and you know, even with a specific location, you could probably do the home service for a specific, you know, if you were to work at a fast food place, for example, that has a specific address, you could choose uh, the home service uh, as long as you keep it at the, um, at the default levels, uh, just out of uh, respect uh, to everyone else, but that would certainly be just to the benefit. However, if you have side hustles that are not registered as a business, you could still leverage the business service. And how do you do that? You would just need to describe it or define it uh, in a way that it, it uniquely identifies it, meaning, you know, uh, if you had, if you were a taxi driver and your side hustle, then you could say, um, K Elmer's, um, um, taxi driving service or something like that, or, you know, your, uh, Uber side hustle or whatever this is. We had someone asked who, you know, um, is about to write a book and, and become an author, but it's not really, a. um, a registered business yet. So here you can maybe start with the use service, but if you really want to focus on the business activity, again, you can you can just say, you know, this is Sarah Smith's um, venture to write a book or to author a book, um, something like that, that defines it. So that's fine because the energy then arrives at this specific activity and, and supports that. Okay, all right, so the key is, is that you have to be uh, an official person of that has official responsibility for that, that you know, business entity um, and uh, to sign up. You can definitely sign up your side hustle, whether it has a name or not. You can just say Kelmer's uh, side hustle, right? If you got multiple, like your DoorDash, Uber, and you don't have to name them one at a time, you just say, uh, Kalmer's side hustles, right? Okay, so that's good to yes. know. So then, other questions about businesses is, uh, uh, if somebody owns, let's say, uh, you know, uh, a bunch of, you know, uh, like four or five uh, different uh, locations, like they, you know, they have a Subway franchise, and they have five or six, um, but the Subway franchise has a business name, so it doesn't matter if it has more than one location. You would just sign up the business name by which your franchise is is signed up for that is right? correct okay absolutely so it doesn't matter correct. if it's more yes. than one location okay now what about um the you know you had mentioned in, when we talked two weeks ago about how you went you know what's the point you know what's the purpose of signing up a business and you know it helps you know bring harmony to the business and and it helps with employees and and harmonizing um employee you know performance and productivity and all that so there was a question of, i'm sorry just so there was a question about what about remote employees? I mean, does it have to be, if I sign up my business, but I've got remote employees all over the place, does it help those employees or just the employees within the physical confines of the, like the physical business? You know, you know now we've got such a thing nowadays, right? With this remote yeah. worker and, and brick and mortar offices and everyone's spread out. So it doesn't matter if people are spread out, if they're still cool no. employees. Right. No, it does not matter at all, actually, because the business is not the business service is not tied to a specific physical location like the home. It's literally tied to the business itself. And the business is you can think of it like as an energetic bundle and any remote employee and and even to an extent, you know, uh, contractors that work on a regular basis for a business, you know, they're part of this energy grid if you will and so so it's it's all included but it's but it works different than the u service so an employee that works at a company that has the business service doesn't get the same energy at all that um, the employee would get through the u service but there is energetic support there's energetic but it's all about the business um and th as a, as a side effect positive side effects the uh, the employees get benefits and 
it, it, it's hard to tell sometimes, you know, how this, um, how this plays out. Like we have multiple companies that we actually looked in more deeply now, uh, what is, what is happening. And there's definitely one company where suddenly this, this startup mentality kind of came back to this business and inspiration, uh, to this business. And then that actually translated to the employees as well, that suddenly, um, found more sense again in, in what they were doing. And, uh, it was more this, you know, movement forward. Wow. Now let's, let's do things again. Let's get into activity. So that's kind of what happened. So, and it was like a more positive environment that everyone really felt relatively quickly. This happened already within a couple of days and, and that's, it's difficult to describe, but it works actually is very, very profound what is happening with the business and it works towards success and prosperity, frankly, and expansion and expansion. I don't mean this really in this greedy way of expansion, right? That's how, you know, we've all learned it like in, 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 the, right. in the old world um, for the business, you know, we need to expand and make more money and accumulate and accumulate and no matter what it costs and everything else doesn't matter. That's not at all what that means. It means a really healthy expansion of what the business is doing. And, and, and that is, that's where really the rubber meets the road. If there's a business with good intentions and there's something that is beneficial, right? It all gets supported in a, a very nice, constantly expansive manner and where there's just this bubble just becomes bigger and gets more support and and indeed works to more um, prosperity and success and, and, and expansion in that sense. However, if there's a business that that signs up for this that is having evil intentions or is just working to manipulate others, um, then these then there will only be transformation because these things they can't stand in the, in the, in the pure quantum field. It's just, they, they lose their power and, and by itself, this business would need to transform itself. That is also one of the reasons why you can't sign up for, I don't know, like a McDonald's, for example, or a Coca-Cola, right? I even, you know, we may want that all these companies suddenly transform and all of that but that's something you know we we need to leave these things up to the universe and to the people that are responsible what we can do is we can build the moon and that's what we're doing and everyone that is doing good things and i'm talking here about more conscious businesses right yeah, you know, yeah we're building yeah. the new and the quantum field and people that choose to use this they will get this boost and they will get the benefit right. and with that we're building the new we don't need to transform the old it'll that'll happen on its own right no i think that's a good point because um you know for those of you who've been following philip for as long as i have i mean the and all of the quantum healing stuff i mean at the end of the day all of this is driven by consciousness and intent and it taps into this energy source which amplifies that and one of the things about if you have negative intent it's not going to go anywhere because that's not the natural order of things right natural order of things is harmony yes so i would say that the best words to use for what the what the service will do for businesses is it'll help it thrive and it'll help it reach prosperity uh, and that's all it will do and uh, it's not gonna it's you know money might not even be the way you measure prosperity yeah right so yeah that's a really great description thank you that really clarifies something so i do have a, a, a question though for for myself um I work for a very large company and um, I work on projects. And so uh, I am at a level where I could sign up to, by your definition, I could sign up my company. Um, you know, I have the authority to do that. I'm whatever, I won't get into it, but uh, I, I could sign up my company uh, and have representative authority to do so. Um, but I'm more interested, <laughs> you know, there's a few thousand of us. I'm more interested in like, is there a way I could like, like, send energy to my project and to all of the people that are working on a project you know there's dozens of us and, and just having like this specific project within a company yes oh how yes. Do I, do that? How I, I think do that? that's actually a great idea i had not thought about that before but it's absolutely clear that you can do that yeah, you would just need to well. define the project well you know okay if it has a project name yeah, and it all has of a that. name and all that stuff yeah 
Yes. So and, I would uh, say I would just identify it by my company's name and then the name of the project and say, yeah, I want this yes. project to go well. It's a, I mean, we're like in year four, <laughs> got two more years to go, you know, but you know, I want this, you know, and you know, I just, you know, I, cause man, I'll tell you, you know, these, these giant projects that last you six years, you know, I just, you know, bring some energy into it and, you know, revitalize everybody and, you know, and then make, and make everything work well with the vendors and yeah, that'd be great. So, okay. I can sign up. My, okay. That's great. I was really wondering how to do that. I, cause I would love, cause it's, it's its own little entity, right? A project, something that big. Yep. Okay, great. All right. So the next set of questions revolve around the bundle, but as you mentioned, uh, you've got things you're going to be changing. So let's talk about the bundle when we get into future enhancements and jump into, uh, for all of you folks, who already own capsules and blocks, there's been a lot of questions about what's the difference between the two. Uh, and so, you know, so I guess right off the bat, the first question, Phil, what, you know, what's your like explanation? Like if somebody, you know, hey, I, you know, what's the difference? Like what's, you know, I already have all this stuff. You know, what, what's the, what's this new thing do? Uh, or, you know, that kind of, because the questions are, what's the difference between the two? And then the breakout questions are, what does the upgrade do that the capsules can't? What can the capsules do that the upgrade can't? Right. And then how do they complement yes. each other? And then do they even and then do they interfere with each other? So those are kind of the questions that I plucked out of the chat uh, and just wanted to see, you know, like, how would you explain that? Yeah. So first of all, it's really they, they complement each other and both have advantages uh, and things you can do with them and achieve with them that the others can't. Let's take, you know, in terms of the actual physical technology, let's take the infinity block package as the ultimate, right? Because that's really where you can create different levels uh, on the Hawkins scale. You can upgrade your blocks to super, super high levels and you have amazing fields. You can charge every object and all of these things, right? So there you're, you're pretty much all covered. The, the benefit that you would still get from a quantum upgrade is that you have more flexibility and customization that a, a blog or even two blogs wouldn't give you because you could set you know different boosters you can set a different hawking scale uh, level for the night time you can do on mondays you could be at 700 on tuesdays you could set it for 800 you could for the next week you could go to 900 and so on and so on so that's just that's just a an additional level and on top of that, the quantum upgrade, you know, it's just a, think of it as a big indeed upgraded system of our own technology. And it contains this specific buffer and a harmony feature, which makes sure that everyone is pretty much picked up where they are. Meaning, let's say if someone could put their picture in the infinity block and the regular infinity block for half an hour or an hour and and after that would usually remove the picture because it you know he would notice it would just be too much energy then on that same level on the hawkins scale you could be in there for at least a few days uh, in the quantum upgrade just because it it has these features um and and at the end of that period actually you will be already vibrating at a at a higher level it's just it it doesn't overwhelm your nervous system uh quickly it doesn't kick in these detox effects it's um it's softer in bringing up stuff you know emotional stuff trauma stuff and all of that um than if you were to use the blocks is it then 100 percent still needed only you can feel that you know it's not that you have to have that because you can go so far already with the infinity blocks of course um but yeah the upgrade service indeed has benefits um over that but then the 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 benefit of the blocks is really you know you can charge your foods you can you can put your silverware in and charge those permanently your keys uh, all of these things and that is something you cannot do with a quantum upgrade service. So there are things you can do with the one that you can't do with the other. 
Okay. Yeah, I think that, you know, when you as you're describing that, it makes it makes a lot more sense for me because that was one of my first questions and people have been asking, like, you know, I do I need this? I mean, what what else would it do for me? And I just I just signed up myself and, and what I realized from just trying it out or you know, because first of all, if you already own a block, there's a seven day free trial. Give it a try. You know, I, I highly recommend giving it a try. I'm giving it a try right now. I signed up yesterday. Um, you know, and just to kind of get a feel for the registration process and click and kicked it in. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm compulsive, like I mentioned earlier, about charging all my water and all my food. And so without a block, I, I couldn't be doing that. Uh, and then definitely, you know, making boosters, you know, making capsules and things like that for friends and family. You know, yeah. And then also having that thing in my house, I do have, I am in the, in my, in the field all the time. But so can you comment about, you know, like I have a high upgraded IB, I got a, a two, you know, a two infinity blocks, one's an eight, one's a nine. Uh, in my home, of course, I've got other blocks too as well. Um, but having them in my home, and I'm in this like really concentrated field, um, because the I guess the thing is right. There's this new feature you develop for the service, and you also developed it for the the travel block, which is that harmonizing uh, feature right of the energy, so that it doesn't uh, overwhelm wh whoever's receiving it, and so is. I mean, I'm trying to just kind of like put it in, you know, get it straight in my head. But if somebody wasn't used to that level of energy and they walked into my home, they would get overwhelmed. Uh, but you have a, there's a feature in the service that makes sure you don't get overwhelmed so that you literally could be in a very high, high level, high energy field all 24 hours a day. Right. Um, and not ever feel overwhelmed. So I guess there's that harmonization, mm. right? Yes, with the, the, so the service though, is definitely different than being in the field of a block. Yes, yeah, so I, I must okay. say, I'm just though, trying to wrap my head around it. That at, at at some level, this is then also still becoming too much. So let's say someone that is all new to this, and then they want to choose a, a 900 right out of the gate. I mean, this will also relatively quickly lead to the fact that they'll be um moving it back to 600 very quickly because it's going to be too much yeah. and that's also the reason why we have locked the booster level of 1200 and that's also the reason why we say okay you can have multiple boosters a day we're okay with that and we'll give you that flexibility but you cannot preset more than one booster so if you want another booster on a given day you actually need to take action in order to do that because we feel it's just another level of, you know, you need to make that decision and not beforehand and don't just set it because these levels are very, very powerful. They're no joke. Um, and, and, and while this feature is there, you know, at, at some point, you know, if you, if you blast yourself with a 1,200, um, for one and a half hours, it, it's a lot of energy. So you can do that, but you always need to make that decision again after that half an hour. Okay, do I want another half an hour of that? So yeah. I just want to want to say that. And then, you know, the travel block indeed has also this feature, but it, it's it's about I would call it like about 70, 60, 70 percent of of that. And the quantum block and infinity block do not, and they may have that in the future at some point, but it's not going to happen in the next six months. It's for us just impossible to do and to implement um, uh, within that uh, time frame. So, yeah. And now I may have missed your question, but it was very important for me to to, to also mention. Like, don't think that you can now do ten boosters, one thousand two hundred, and and stay at nine hundred all day long uh, if you're new to this. That that's even yeah. the feature doesn't cover that. Right. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah. My question was, was like, um, I live in a very high concentrated quantum field because of all the yeah. blocks that I have. And so I, I signed myself up under the U thing. And I'm wondering, um, I'm, you know, because I live in such a high, high, in, you know, high, highly energetic environment, would I, you know, would the U even do anything for me? Yes, it would, and you will you will yeah. feel it. And it depends probably which level you'll need to like just test it out and 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 see. But having the blocks in your home and you're in in that field is different than being literally inside 
a, a block. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. and in the quantum upgrade, it's like being in the block, just in an upgraded oh. block with with these specific features. Okay. Right? And and yes, so that will happen. And what will take over for you then is actually the U service. So that is the one that you'll you'll have, unless you keep it at a very, very low level, then it's it's probably gonna be the conscious level of what you already have in your home. But then really what will take over is the U service and then um, everyone else in the home and everything else in the home will will just have the the blocks that they feel basically right. that's pretty much how it works so it's like being inside the block all the time set at that consciousness level so the so the added perk of the upgrade would be that it's with me 24 hours a day as opposed to i only spend 15 maybe 10 minutes a day with my hands inside the block um as opposed to being able to have it 24 hours a day with the service so that that makes yes. sense because being in the field is not the same as being inside the block um however what about wearing my heel capsule um, like what I try to do, mm -hmm. right, is uh, I have a, a travel block in, in, in the truck and then I wear a heel capsule so that I'm, when I'm away from my truck and away from my home, I'm still in a field um, for EMF purposes. So how does wearing a capsule, like wearing the heel capsule and signing up for the U uh, service, I mean, uh, is it, I mean, wh what's the difference there? Because it seems like they would be the mm -hmm. same because I've got the capsule on me. But is there something different? Yes, it's oh, very right. different, actually. Oh, okay. so yeah. How, so the use service is, yep, the use service is way more powerful. It literally is is almost coming from inside you. Like the it's 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 the service supports you energetically wherever you are in a much higher consciousness level than the capsule. So the capsule. Uh, isn't that high on the Hawkins scale. It's it's still high, you know, compared to other products out there, but it's nothing compared to what you can do with the U service, uh, to be honest. And that does, still doesn't mean that you wouldn't use the capsule. Um, I probably in the beginning, when I start the U service, I would not use the capsule just for several, for a few days at least, just to not, you know, do too much. But then the capsule still comes in really handy because it has these specific frequencies right? Yeah, that you can it. add. So yeah. if you then wear it, you have those frequencies and you get the real quantum boost for yourself also. That's okay. a, uh, that can be very beneficial. We had a Trevor, for example, um, just uh, posting in the group, I think yesterday, that uh, he tried that to have the capsule and the quantum upgrade. And for him personally, it worked really, really well. And I can I can just uh, you know underline that you know because I've yeah I've tried that too. Okay, so yeah, so okay, so there's dis okay the distinct differences is in the the consciousness level of the energy. Secondly, it's the present the presence of that field always with you as opposed to being away from your block that sort of thing. But okay, that's starting to make sense because I'm you know it's only we're two weeks into this everybody <laughs> and every, there's so many of us are trying to wrap our heads around it and try to understand it and that's why we're doing this Q&A but I think that helps me hopefully it helps the rest of you guys and then the the idea here that I guess the last thing was like if I use them together I'm not going to overcharge myself like I like I personally keep uh, uh, myself in my one of my IBs all the time uh, inside it, right? Just, uh, uh, you know, a picture in, in my fingernails. And so, um, it's always in there 24 hours a day. Um, and so then if I signed up for the U, am, am I overwhelming myself now? Cause I've got a, the service coming at me. I've got my eye block coming at me. Um, or no, there's, there's no way to overcharge. Well, I would, I would, uh, take out the picture and the fingernail, um, out of the block. If you do the service, okay. that's what I would do. I would not go about it with with two different things and you can have the block at home no problem but i would then concentrate on the service and then there find the best level for you because that's that you know literally like you you can tune it for you know what is the best for you in a given yeah. week or day and 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 that's the easiest to to then customize for yourself okay all right okay that helps um all right Good. And you can have someone else in yeah. your block then, right? Yeah, actually, I actually do because, you know, uh, you know, I'm always being asked to, you know, and then, of course, whenever one of my friends or family, anybody's got some issues going on. So I always have, I have one in my kitchen, right? 
it's like an appliance at this point. <laughs> and then, and then the other one's like being used for somebody <laughs> or some animal, a lot of, usually a lot of animals. Um, and so that's why like having the service for, I was just thinking like, what's the service could do for me? I'm like, well, yeah, that, I could then have it with me all the time and I'd have another thing, you know? So yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Um, okay. So, Hey, by the way, you guys got more questions, just throw them in the chat, uh, in telegram. Okay. So let's get on to the next category on how to adjust the settings. Uh, so we got some questions from the group. I did, uh, as I was signing up yesterday uh, to give it a try, um, this uh, right here is once you sign up and, and maybe, I don't know, we can walk through how to sign up, but these are the settings for you. And so there's all these different questions about, you know, these settings and, and how they work and, and so forth. So uh, let's go ahead and, and just start right off the bat with, um, you know, how long does the booster run? So when I set up the booster, like I set it up for right when we started talking, uh, I set it at 1100, but then how long does this thing run? Because there's no it like start, there's no minutes. stop time. 30 minutes. Okay. Yes, 30 minutes. And I, we apologize. So that's actually a good question. So I will let our tech team know because we should probably make a note there uh, that uh, a booster is 30 minutes. So that's a good point. Yeah. Because there's the people are saying, well, there's no start. There's a start, but there's no stop. Right. So how are they? Yeah. Okay. So then, so then, and so then uh, in terms of like, if I wanted to, like you were talking earlier, if I want to boost myself again, like right now, it's like 1220. If I wanted to boost myself, could I just do this and then put in, let's say, start another booster uh, at 1220 and go, okay, update, and then I'd get another boost? Uh, I would not uh, set it right at 1220, but oh. I would give it 10 minutes, you know, just put it at 1230 or at okay. one or whenever, but so allow the system always five okay. to have 10 minutes to, so it, it always takes about five to 10 minutes to, um, to update basically. Okay. That so makes to, sense. All right. So to your point, which you cautioned about, so everybody heads up on the caution is you don't want to be boosting yourself constantly. Um, but like, you know, like, like in this example, I'm in the middle of an interview and I, I want to be at peak energy and the interview lasts like, you know, an hour and a half. Right. So I want to boost myself while I'm doing it. If I'm in a really important meeting at work or I'm taking finals or I'm arguing with the wife, <laughs> I need some energy, <laughs> then you can go on here. And I, I want to also point out, Philip had a really great recommendation, which I'm sticking by, which is I leave this page running. So if I want to make any tweaks throughout the day, I don't have to keep logging back in and out. This thing will just stay running and I can run up here, change the number, hit update, and then, you know, boom, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so, so yeah, I think the, I think the boost- And, and by the way, yeah. mm -hmm. so why you just said a recommendation, I, I just uh, popped up in my mind uh, that I had another recommendation at some point that, that a lot of people said that helped them a lot in the beginning. That was when we had the, you know, 25 people test group uh, several, you know, a month or a month and a half ago. And that was really, if you start this view service, uh, it's really the people ask, okay, so what, how do I like leverage this, uh, this energy best for me? And, you know, always great things are, you know, take care of yourself, find something that, you know, brings you joy and do that. But then there are some of these things that probably everyone has one way or another, the couple of things that are kind of like blocking us because it's stuff we should should have done already or we should have taken yeah. care of like paying this bill or doing that or making that phone call and we've always put it off like maybe pick a couple of these things and just do them and, and just leverage that energy with that and wow you'll you'll feel things like pop it's 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 quite amazing um, um how that works and it doesn't mean you should go into activity mode right it doesn't doesn't yeah. mean that you can also go into relaxing mode but in between, there's some of these things that you may have the extra energy boost now to actually get it done. Cool, because that's that's why I picked you <laughs> for me. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to actually expand on that, but let me get through the questions because I I definitely have what you just described. I'm living. I've got a personal challenge, and I'm I'm hoping that you know signing up for the U is going to kind of give me that extra boost. So, but I want to get into the let me get into these questions here. Um, all right. So it runs for 30 minutes. You can do it multiple times a day, not recommended because you don't want to be that high all the time. And I guess that applies in everything. In life. Okay. So then, um, are there, so I guess the thing is, so we talked about, are there do's and don'ts, right? So the thing is, is we don't recommend boosting constantly, but there was specific to the booster. 
you know, there's only two choices here, 1,000 and 1,100. But, and so I was thinking in terms of do's and don'ts. So the don'ts is don't recommend, you know, you know, that you don't recommend boosting all the time, like multiple times a day, but just a few times is okay. Uh, but then at the same time, are there any other do's and don'ts that you want to share with everybody about using the booster? Not really. That's pretty much it. By the way, you can request the 1,200 level even uh, okay. for the booster. But that would really just be recommended for folks that have already had you know, an Infinity Block package for quite some time or that are energy healers uh, themselves and feel like they can really handle a lot of energy. Um, so you can request that from customer service and just let them know, you know, that, that you feel like, uh, you can definitely handle that and, and then, um, we'll gladly unlock that for you. Okay, cool. That was one of the actual questions. So, okay. And you can uh, pause yeah. also, right? So I don't know if, uh, uh, people know that, but you can also pause the service. Uh, and that doesn't mean that your subscription stops or pauses. It just pauses the quantum upgrade. So there's some people that are very sensitive and that may want in the first uh, two nights or so just to completely pause the service. And so you can do that at any time you want and then you can just unpause the service also. How do you, uh, how do you pause it? If you go there again, you, you see there the pause button. Pause button. Should be on the le uh, upper left somewhere. I can't see it because it's on my phone. If it's uh -huh. not there, then uh, then yeah. I don't know why because I've I've seen it multiple times. Uh, on okay, the... I'm not seeing it. I don't want to go any higher. Okay. It's got my personal info, but um, yeah, don't don't up, worry. Up then maybe that you need info, to clear your cache and and um, uh, refresh it. I'll reach out to the tech team, but it it's been up since. Oh, um, here it is. I think I'm, okay. Hey, the screen I was showing everybody was of as of last night. I, I just hit refresh. So here you go. You got a pause button now. Okay, yes. so it's a and different it's been screen. like that for a week. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, weird. Yeah. Because I just signed up yesterday. Okay. All right. So here's your and pause if you button. Click it. Yeah, you can you can click it and then it also shows shows you, okay, your quantum upgrade is currently paused. Okay. And then, you know, if it's if it's not paused, it shows you your quantum upgrade is currently active. That was a request from from the folks in the telegram group to make it more clear is it now active or is it not and yeah button. now it should be all like double clear okay cool all right so there's your pause button so you can pause turn it on you can pause it on and off uh it, oh each booster is 30 minutes so i guess you already have it there so okay so then you got the boosters okay all right so let's see other what are the other questions here um how many times a day can i use it so what would you say as a recommendation like you don't really want to boost over x number of times do you have a number or is it per person? Well, it, you know, really people love is, playing uh, around with this thing. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would, you know, I would start with just one booster a day. You know, if you're totally new to this, don't even do any booster, um, maybe for the first uh, two, three days, but then maybe use the booster also to, to tune your, your senses. You know, we've had um, people that are maybe not so sensitive to energy and this is all new to them. They haven't, learned and trained themselves yet to to feel the subtle energy and and using the boosters is also a good way to to actually do that because you at some point you will feel the difference in the energy levels yeah. and it's it's a great way you know like becoming a tennis pro you know that takes practice same thing here with feeling energy and all of that uh we can all do it just takes a little bit of practice yeah i've actually read because i've read the entire thread from start to finish and there have been at least three people come in and just said, Hey, you know, how do I pause this thing? Because it, 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 they felt it right away. And it was a little bit too much for them just, you know, right from the get go at 500. So yeah, it's definitely uh, people are feeling it. People are like myself that have been living with blocks for, you know, well over a year. Um, yeah, it, I, I haven't, I haven't felt it yet, but uh, again, I've, I've got to take myself out of the IB and maybe that'll make a difference. So, all right. Um, how many times a day how do i access booster levels we show you have the contact customer service that's this little button right there uh, you can see just anytime you just contact customer service uh if you want to get the 1200 if you if you've been around uh qe for a while now you can have an extra number down here so right now i've got 1100 1000 and 1100 in there twice so okay 
Um, now, uh, how do I change from one option to another? So there was a, several questions uh, where people were saying, hey, I, I signed up for you, but I wanna sign up for home next or now, right? I wanna switch from you to home uh, and you know, without, I don't want two of them, I want one subscription. How do you do that? You, if you currently have a subscription and yeah. you would like to rather change it to another one, right. then you need to reach out to customer service. Okay. Which is support at quantumupgrade.io. Okay. Now, do you have a, okay, you know, because obviously, you know, you're a small company and there's not a lot of you guys, plus, you know, it's, it's, it's overhead, but is there like a limit to like how many times somebody can switch around from car to home to business to, you you know, uh, throughout a month? Because I could see where you could get some abuse on that. Yeah. So, I mean... That's actually not at all the idea that you just switch the whole time. Though no, we would not want that. That that's not the idea. Right, that would just be crazy. I couldn't imagine a yeah, company I mean, being able to accommodate that. Yeah, that's just too much. But so I'm thinking that you know people that have asked that question, and you know it's a sincere question, like, oh, I tried it. I'd rather do something else. Hey, no problem. Let's go ahead and switch. Yeah, that. that's right. fine. Totally um, fine. And you know we're or I want we're to as flexible as that can be. You know, with all these things, and even hey, if there's. Uh, you signed up for the all-in-one bundle, for example, right? So, and we're, we're getting into the bundle, but now that we're introducing new bundles, if you then want to rather switch to one of the other bundles, of course, we're going to make that happen for you, you know? Right. Okay. So definitely accommodating, but, you know, um, but just not, not meant for, uh, I want to try something different every week. You know, that's not, that's not what yeah. that, that option is for, <laughs> right? Okay, so just heads up. Uh, now, updating information, that was the other thing too. Is somebody said, hey, I'm moving uh, or I changed my phone. So if I, if I, like you said earlier, if I have any information like the hard-coded information, which would be your personal information, and that changes, then you have to contact customer service, right? That's how you go ahead and update your... Yes, and that, so we debated that in the beginning before we launched this, and we came to the conclusion that it's better that way um, also because we don't want people to, you know, use it for themselves today and then for their dad tomorrow and then for their mother the next day and then for their friend uh, in three days and all of that and just switch it around. You know, this is your service. You sign up for you and then it's for you and not for someone else. If you want it for someone else, you just need to get a bundle or something like that. Right. And, you know, if, if you change your address because you're moving, hey, you know, just send us a note. We'll we'll take care of it. No problem okay. whatsoever. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah, everybody, you know, keep in mind that, you know, people have to do something behind every question or request you ask for. And it's meant for, you know, not you know, not constant changes. But, OK, that's reasonable, very reasonable for a company to, to say that. Uh, OK, so then. Um, how soon the changes? I think you covered that. You said about five to ten minutes. So I did at twelve twenty. I updated. I updated. I wanted to have a boost kickoff at twelve thirty. So you said give it five or ten minutes. So yeah, it's five or ten minutes after you sit. You have to click click update. Don't forget to click update, and then it'll happen after that. Correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, now the thing about setting intentions, uh, which is what I wanted to chat with you about. Like I signed up for you because I've been wrestling like a lot of people, right, with with weight loss, and I'm trying to kick into doing some intermittent fasting, and it has been so brutal trying to get past that, you know, 16 hour hump for me, and so that's why I'm saying so I'm I'm really kind of like trying to boost up energy to kind of just push through that you know push through it and get through it and then of course you got to do everything for 10 days before it becomes a habit so i'm really trying hard and i've failed multiple times and it's been a miserable failure of an experiment <laughs> but <laughs> so you know and i so i want to set an intention that says you know i will i will make it i will push through i will be able to do it for 10 days and make it a daily habit how do i do that with the you service because I know I would just write that out and put it in my block, and I have, and it's not working. So, <laughs> so what do you recommend? I recommend, first of all, that you uh, take the weight loss card and put it in your pocket uh, during that time yeah. when you get started. And then, you know, with the youth service and the intention, indeed, that's where the block would come in handy. So I would put the intention in your block because you really can't do that with the, with the youth service. You can 
resonate that and set that intention internally for you, right? It's it's sort of this internal navigator, right? You know, right. just try to set it on autopilot and then um, just ask your whole system to support it and to, to go do it. Uh, I don't know if there's, so if the intention is to do this could now I for boost? 10 days and then forever, I don't know if you could allow yourself um, on uh, on the weekends, for example, to not do it that way. That's just like a personal, I'm, I'm getting off track here maybe, but, okay. but possibly if, if you can manage this for 10 days and then maintain it for the next five days and then just on the weekends, you you don't do it that way and then then go back maybe that is the way to go to not forever and ever be that strict oh yeah that's yeah, just a thought well, it's yeah because well first the first question was and i think other folks have i think a couple other folks asked that question which was can you use intentions with the upgrade service or is that something you only can do with blocks yeah it's way easier with the blocks i would say and the only thing really with the use service whatever intention you have and you internalize it certainly gets supported but it's something if you put an intention in the block it really is something that vibrates there at all times and you don't really need to do anything on top of that okay yeah okay because if anyone's familiar with intermittent fasting it's basically uh only eating and during a six hour period. So you have to go 18 hours without food. And for me, between the hours, uh, the 14 hour mark and getting to the 18 hour mark is the hardest period of time. Uh, it's when my body rebels and says, you know, give me food. Uh, and so I'm thinking if I set a booster for that time period, I just give myself a little bit of punch, uh, you know, to try to push through and then set yeah. the intention to push through. So yeah, there you go. Okay. No, that's a, that's a, that's a good, that's a good, uh, Good approach. Okay, so then uh, we did talk about how to turn it off for a while, which is the pause button. Um, and then the question we got about the seven day free trial is, you know, uh, does a regular subscription kick in after the seven days over or do I have to do something to make it like permanent? No, it happens automatically. Okay. It happens automatically. Just if you don't want to continue, you just need to uh, uh, cancel it, which you can do with a click of a button or by reaching out to customer service. Obviously, we prefer that you click the button because that's uh, the easiest. Um, but you know, uh, you can okay. also send a note to customer service. Okay, and then if someone tries the seven-day free trial and it just they just decide that it's not for them, how do they not automatically become a subscriber? Just like I just said. You know, you, you okay. click the button to, to cancel it and you can do that. There's a, there's so, a cancel so let's say, yeah, you can, you can cancel the service. There should oh. be somewhere. Okay. Um, it's probably under my account. So I, I don't want to go. Yes. Around. Okay. Yes, so there exactly. is a cancel button. Okay. Yes. 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 It, it, it's, it's pretty simple to do with one click literally. Okay. Um, but then, so if you have the, the service, the, the, the free trial, the seven day free trial, and let's say you, you cancel it on day five the service will still continue until the seven days of trial are completed just so you know so uh that will will always happen if you wanted though we had another it was just one person that it was just too much energy for her and uh she then paused it you know so you can do that too okay all right so there you go uh and then you mentioned too in the chat that you want to if you want to if you don't want to continue you want to cancel the day before it expires, right? Not the day of. Um, Something like the that. Trial, yes, definitely, definitely the day before, not okay. the day off. And if you're already in a subscription, let's say you're in a monthly subscription, but it applies the same for the annual. Three month, three days, up to three days before the next payment um, date, you should you should uh, cancel. Okay. All right, that's clear. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, last couple of questions, and then, and this kind of falls into what you're doing in the future. So uh, there have been questions about um, what are the future enhancements. There's a couple right off. I think it was from Sandy D. So let, you know, if you want to start with that, but uh, let's talk about like let's uh, ask Sandy's questions here. For for what services will the frequencies be available? Uh, you know, then only is it question mark only you or also other options? 
So that's a great question. And I cannot answer that yet because okay. we're not yet at that point. <laughs> we have built it all already for our, you know, back end technology. So we know that we can uh, work with the frequencies and all of that, but there's, there's still one thing we need to figure out on the back end, because as you know, we have um, uh, various healers and tinkers <laughs> that, uh, uh, you know, make amazing frequencies and we need to, still think through okay so how does this now work this model uh if we offer a frequency there that's something um you know and maybe you even have an idea offline for that that that's just one thing the other thing is that okay where exactly do we offer it how many do we offer i you know i don't want to offer too many but at the same time then people may request it so we'll see within yeah. the next three months at least that will be available and i think within the next 30 days, we'll be able to announce it. And yeah, that's that with the, with the frequencies. Okay. So, but if you have a block, definitely can send frequencies easily. Um, uh, but this is forthcoming. Yes. Okay. All right. So there's your answer there. Uh, now, same questions for the boost, right? Sending, um, uh, can you boost other services other than just a, a person? Can I boost my pets and my business and Will, there, will, will these other options have yes. the boost feature? They already have that today. They already have it now. Okay, I haven't looked at it. Yeah. Okay. A every oh. service has the booster function. And okay. just with the pets, I would be really mindful, you know, just, uh, you know, just don't think these things, feel these things. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, so then let's talk about the bundles. Um, Earlier, the only question I had was, you know, people were just seeking clarification on bundles, like, you know, what are, what are the particulars about them and so forth. So can you kind of just let's talk about the all in one bundle offer and, and what's coming, like how it works now, if you already signed up for it, and then what do you have planned for this, this feature going forward? Yeah, so all in one means you can literally have up to all of the services that we offer um, and up to one of each. Right, that's what it means. Now, let's say you don't have a pet, then you can't use the pet, uh, but you know you could use everything else. So that's pretty much what that means. And uh, very soon, I think within the next, with, within this coming week, frankly, uh, we will introduce uh, more bundles, and that will be the so-called pick three, pick four, and pick five. So you get to basically pick in the pick three uh, scenario, pick three services of your choice. It could be three, even three businesses. Uh, it could be three of, you know, you services. Oh, yeah. and, and then with that, you cover your two kids also, right? Uh, as an example. So it's much more flexible than the all-in-one bundle. But, uh, but again, so the all-in-one bundle really uh, was the start and it covers up to six. And again, as I said, you know, if, if someone is there, that's like, oh, I have this all in one bundle, but the pick five is actually what I really want and need, you know, no worries. You can, you can switch to that one. And we'll, we'll make that happen for you. Okay. Yeah. I can see where it'd be kind of like, I, I basically live with two dogs, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, but if I had a spouse, we both have cars, right? So a home, two cars, two people two phones. So you definitely need to pick a different bundle because this is, this is more like just for me, my house, my, my car, my pet, right? So it's all yes. in just one, one per, and then you're going to have bundles that are going to offer others. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, there wasn't really specific questions other than the mix and match, which you just answered. So that kind of handles that. Uh, so that really kind of wraps up the questions. I mean, was there anything else that you, that maybe I didn't catch in, in the chat that you might want to address? Not really. I think we really covered yeah. it. Yeah, uh, I could just extend a big, big thanks to you for for doing this and 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 for having suggested that we cover this. I think this will be very helpful. And also thanks to everyone really in in the uh, quantum upgrade community group. It's it's a fun group already. And and yeah, it's great that you guys asked so many questions and that you can have so many ideas also and and that you share. So it's, uh, it's been great. Thank you. And thanks also to Emma, because so for Emma, it's been also a ride. <laughs> Double her right. workload. <laughs> yes. I noticed that. Now she's got two 
try i mean the, the, poor, the poor woman but yeah she's working hard i'll tell you but yeah okay but okay so that's it so uh so everybody out there in the telegram community this this is you uh you got you were, these are your questions uh it's only been two weeks so we wanted to put this together because it is hard to find the answer so at least we can introduce everybody to the q a and then they could just go hey here's here's the faqs for the first you know for the first few weeks and it really kind of gets people over the hump so hey thanks a lot for submitting questions thank you philip for your time uh this morning really couldn't do any of this without you and thank you for bringing this service to the universe so uh yeah it's just absolutely cool i mean folks if you haven't even looked at the studies on the website yet you really need to it is uh, beyond amazing what this actually does in the physical real world when people actually study it like literally under a microscope uh, so yeah it's definitely very very cool and very very real very real uh so thank you philip appreciate your time today thank you for submitting questions and uh, any parting words i guess i already said that <laughs> but, thank you k and thanks to everyone out there all righty so anyone that wants to reach out to either one of us uh, just come on over here there's going to be uh, links in the video descriptions for the telegram chat group for the quantum upgrade uh if you want to check me out on my blog I'm at the tinkers.academy uh, in your in your URL window. I have a blog and there's a whole section of the blog dedicated to quantum energy and to Layla. So yeah, and again, you know, if you haven't tried it, seven days free trial, try it. Uh, you, you know, it, I hate to sound like a salesman, but it's free and go ahead and give it a try. And uh, there, and really there's nothing to lose. Just don't forget to cancel if you don't want it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Philip. Uh, and aloha, have a great day. You too.